All right, welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Um, viewer request. I'm going to compare the Babylon Pure Arrow Banana Edition to the, the Yonex V Core 100 in the Galaxy Black. It comes in a red too, but this is the Galaxy Black one, uh, which I think looks better. But for some reason, Yonex tells me the red one sells better. So, eh, go figure. All right, so I've been curious about these two myself because when I demoed this a uh, year and a half, two years ago, uh, I was I was like, this reminds me of this racket. Uh, it, it cuts through the air so fast. Um, it gives me a good amount of spin. The balance feels just like this racket. But I mean, I never had the time to, you know, play with it and balance it and weigh it and all that stuff. But now's the perfect time, right guys? All right, let's try it out. Let's see what's going on with these rackets. Got my balance board out. Let's balance them out. All right, let's go with banana yellow. Three twenty nine on the balance. Okay. V core hundred. Three twenty eight. It's really close, isn't it? Okay. All right. Okay. Ready? Let's hit the scale. The scale. Pure arrow banana edition. 319.5 Swing weight Try that again. Three twenty nine. Try it one more time. Three twenty eight. Okay. So Yonix, 320 on the dot. Do that one more time. I'm gonna do that one more time. I usually don't show you guys when I do this, but since people are questioning the machine, I'm I'm just gonna show you what I do to counteract the machine. I just want to make sure that everything's pretty accurate by the time I write it down. So let's go analyze it. To conclude, to sum it up, um the good thing about these is that they're actually almost to spec. So these two are actually very, very close to what they're supposed to be. 
I mean, that's, that's within range, that's within range in the total weight of both, okay? Um, the swing weight is where we're a little off. The balance is, is probably right there. Like that's, you're probably not gonna get any better than that. Um, the swing weight, so the Yonex clocks in a little heavier in the swing weight. Uh, so does the Babolat though. Uh, so that tells me that these are just slightly off somewhere in uh, the construction of the racket towards you know, the, the um, handle up. So somewhere in there, there's just maybe a hair more material uh, or a hair more you know, of the placement of the thing. It could be even the strings. Uh, although, I mean, it's, that's RPM in the block there and that's a RPM synthetic here. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna really change that too much, but I mean, it's just, these are just slight, slightly off. These are slightly off, uh, still acceptable. You know, it's like people, you know, people are get, get crazy about it. I do too. They should be perfect. But, um, I mean, I call all this tennis normal. Okay. So, um, looking at these numbers, which is the stiffness numbers, the beam on that Babylon is 23, 26, 23, equating to that number to 67. I mean, that, that makes sense to me. It's been that way for a while. That Yonex though, um, the throat area is a 22. That's where you're getting a feel on the flex from the Yonex rackets. Uh, the 25 and the 24, these two numbers is what's equaling to slightly stiffer racket here. So this balance number uh, and the swing weight number, it's what's making it go through the air a little faster too. Plus, uh, plus Yonex actually put a skin on this, like the, the paint on this racket is supposed to be aerodynamic too. And that's exactly what I felt when I was swinging this. Um, I just remember I was hitting a backhand and I, like the ball was already across the net and I'm setting up for it like this and I'm sure I'm gonna be late, right? So the only thing I did was I just reared back and I just fired, right? I just fired it and I caught up to it and I actually hit it. So in any other racket, I probably would have missed it. But I was shocked at how fast this thing went through. Kind of like this one. So um, these are very, very similar rackets. Um, so, I mean, you can pretty much can't lose with either one, um, but hey, try these for yourself. These are, these are great for spin. All right, so guys, tell me what you think. I mean, the, both of these rackets have been out for a year and a half. Uh, yeah, about a year and a half or more now. So tell me what you guys think of this. Tell me if you think these are close. Tell me if you own one of these, um, especially this one, because it doesn't get as much love as this. Okay, uh, thanks for watching guys. Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.